Here are five new features in Microsoft Edge. The first new feature is improvements to the sidebar. As a recap, the sidebar on the right-hand side was rolled out to Edge recently, and there are some new updates. The sidebar lets me launch apps really easily. So here's an example of Office. If I wanna launch something like Word or Teams or OneNote, I can do that easily. You can filter your different apps. So really easy access to things like Office. You also have Outlook, and then there's Shopping, and tools and some other nice things. Now, some of the updates include new apps. So I have a Spotify app here, I click here. If I wanna log into Spotify, I have quick access to everything. Facebook Messenger and YouTube, so I click here. Here are my different YouTube videos. I can launch them right here if I wanted to. And you can add new apps. So if I customize the sidebar here, I've got more and more things I could add. So if I wanna add Amazon Music, Instagram, WhatsApp, Gmail, Apple Music, and the list is getting better and better. If I scroll up, I can even add the current page. So if I click this, now you're gonna see a little edge page, almost like a favorite here. I'll close this. In the lower right, you have the hide sidebar. So if I wanna hide this, I go and click this, and it's hidden. There's also a nice way with a shortcut, control shift forward slash shows it or hides it. So control shift forward slash can toggle. And for settings, if I click this, I have all the sidebar settings that I need. So this is where I can show and hide it with the official toggle, turn it back on. Or if I wanna have notifications, I can have this, and then notifications will fire on the right-hand side as well, and I can turn that off. The second new feature is the Follow Creator button, which allows you to follow different creators when you're browsing around in Edge. Right now, it only supports YouTube, but in this case, if I go to the upper right, you're gonna see this little Earth with a plus button. I'm gonna click Follow This Creator. That opens up the pane here, and now it says Following. It lets you know when posts from this creator come up. So when Microsoft Mechanics posts something new, I will know. And I'm gonna close this for now. You'll see the little check is now on that earth as well. Let's say I go to another channel, Microsoft Education, and click this. You'll see it says follow Microsoft Education. It pops up briefly and then gets small again. So I'll follow them as well. Now when new videos post from these different creators that I follow, I'll get notified in Edge. So here's an example where this post just popped up. I got notified, I can snooze it. I have a couple other options here. Change notification settings. In this case, I'm gonna choose See Posts. And now you can see the different videos. And this is a Microsoft Mechanics video that just came out. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go click on this and launch it, really easy. And the third new feature is actually integration of the Follow Creator feature into Collections. So if I go here on Collections, I'm gonna open this up, and then we'll go to the three-dot menu, and I'm gonna to go to Following. This has the different creators I follow. I follow myself, I'm following mechanics, and I follow Microsoft Education. So I can quickly follow and unfollow right here, and I can also see recent posts. Here are some recent posts from the different creators that I follow, and I can just click to launch these really easily. So this pivot is handy to have right here in Collections. And I'm gonna close this. In addition, some of the updates in Collections, instead of always being pinned automatically, when I click this, it's sort of a hover, so it makes it really easy to add things for Collections. I can also go and pin this so it does stay open all the time. In the three dot menu, there are some more options like I showed following and recent posts. Then I can also very easily hide the collections button from the toolbar if I want. In this case, I'm gonna leave it where it is. The fourth new feature is instant answers in your address bar to give you really quick results on specific things. So maybe I wanna look up the weather in Seattle. If I just type Seattle weather, it instantly pulls it up right at the top. Oh, it's raining in Seattle, 50 degrees. It also works for things like stock quotes. If I put in Microsoft, MSFT, it pulls up the stock price immediately, and that works for all different sorts of stock prices. And here's how Apple's doing. The last thing I'll show is people. So if I put in something like Satya Nadella, it'll actually pull up that and be person aware. So people like Satya Nadella or Bill Gates or whoever else, if someone's well known, then this will automatically have instant answers. And if I click this, It'll just do a nice search on Satya Nadella, but also pull up all the information right here about him. The fifth new feature is a security feature, and that is that Edge can detect when you put in URLs that might be off by a character. Maybe someone owns that URL and is trying to do phishing or scams. So for example, if I go up here and I type in office, and I leave out an F on accident and hit enter, Edge will automatically detect that I might have misspelled office. So it doesn't automatically navigate me there, it blocks me there, and it says, okay, you can proceed, or it'll say go to office.com. We've just started rolling this out and so it's gonna add more and more URLs over time. I can't predict exactly which ones may or may not work for your website, 
but this is what the experience looks like when you type in a URL that Edge detects as potentially wrong. If you want to keep up with all the latest Microsoft updates and tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get all the latest videos that I post.